Hi everyone, I just wanted to jump in really quick to let you guys know that I now have a Patreon page, finally! So if you've been wanting coloring pages, there are coloring pages that you can also get access to behind the scene content, updates, voting polls, store discounts, even bonus art videos and more. I will have a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for checking it out. It is just a good way of supporting me and my work if that is something that you wish to do. But yeah, I think that is all I wanted to say. Let's get on with it video. Hi everyone, let's open another scroller box and this one is the September box. I haven't opened one of these in a while so I'm really excited to see what's inside. I did struggle a little bit with the last scroller box but this is a fresh new one and I'm very excited to see what's inside. Oh! move this out of the box. Also, if you would like to try out a scroller box yourself, I will have a link in the description box below. There will also be a discount code for you guys to use. I can see a Posca pen. I mean, it is already open, so let's start with art supplies for once. We have a very colorful Sticker. I have to say, I really enjoy all of these custom-made scroller stickers. They make them a little more fun to collect. And we get a giant candy or a drumstick. We have a Stedler Mars Lumograph black pencil. I first thought it was a graphite pencil, but I'm not so sure. Let's see. Ah, so it is kind of like a graphite pencil, but it got higher percentage of carbon in it, so that is why it is so dark. And we got a Faber-Castell or Faber-Castell, however you like to say it, fine liner pen in the size 0.6, which is a little odd. It is usually 0.5, but... Anyway, I actually use this kind of fine liner a lot before I found the Unipin fine liner, which is my favorite, but this one is also really good. And then we have a bunch of Posca pens. So and these three are a little bigger and the black and white one is a size smaller, I think. I might as well just open them and compare. And as you can see, the pens are wrapped in plastic. And the best way that I found out to open them is to just take the cap and the pen and twist them in opposite directions and the plastic will break. And then you can just peel it off. That way you don't have to use scissors or knives or anything. I don't like that it is so much plastic waste though. So here we can see the smaller nib and this is the bigger nib. And we get them in the colors white and black, coral pink. It's escaping aqua green. And lavender. I love getting more Posca pens to add to my collection. It is quite an interesting color combination as well. Then let's check out the featured artist. Oh, I really love the style of this one. It's made by SP Zero, an illustrator and street artist based in Bristol, UK. And yeah, it really got this street art style to it. And here is where you can find the artist and their work. And then we have the little menu for September where you can read about the different art supplies. And then we have a paper pad. Ah, it is like a collaboration with a featured artist. Oh, that's a very interesting texture. It almost got this rubber texture to it. Very interesting. We got an A5 marker sketch pad, 250 GSM and 10 sheets. Gecko freestyle pad. Oh, this is interesting. The surface is super, super smooth and it almost feels like it got some kind of coating on it. I'm not really sure how to describe it. I don't know, it says that it is perfect for Posca, which makes me very intrigued because the problem that I've always had with Posca pens, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, is that it is 
paint pens with a very rough nib so when rubbing on the paper with the pen nib it very easily eats on the paper and creates these little paper crumbs you know so i am very curious to see how they works on this smoother kind of paper and then lastly we have the scrawler scene of september i really love this pattern we got some scrawler updates some information about street art featured art from previous scrawler challenges and this is from the july box with a liquid pencil paint i really like that one and we have some tips and tricks about the art supplies which is very handy and here we have some information about the artist and the art supplies also let's check out the scrawler challenge character creation i am the worst at coming up with new characters so this will be fun and challenging but i feel like it is a good challenge something that it is nice to try out every once in a while first let's try out this black pencil It feels kind of like a mix between a graphite pencil and a color pencil. Let's see if I can actually erase it, kind of. Since there is so much carbon in the pencil, it makes it a little harder to erase. But if you make a little lighter lines, then maybe it's easier to erase. Oops. It works to erase a little at least. The fineliner that's a juicy fineliner which i think is one of the reasons why i switched to the unipin fineliners because i like my fineliners to be a little drier not dried out but drier just to be able to create a little more scratchy lines i suppose it's hard to explain but it is just a feeling so let's activate the posca pen there we have it i don't know if you can see that that is so smooth. Let's try the black one. Oh, that is a nice bold black. This is amazing. I mean, I can scribble in the same place without the paper tearing apart. I mean, there is a little bit of fibers coming off, but not nearly as much as on a regular type of paper. I really love the look of the Posca pens. Very nice pastel colors. Let's see if I can layer these and what it looks like. That is what is so great with paint markers, that they are opaque and you can layer different colors on top of each other. Then we have the black one. The black pencil actually looks pretty good on top of the Posca pens. And the fine liner also works great. Let's try the Posca pen over the pencil. It covers it up completely. So that is good to know. But I feel like I've got a pretty clear picture of the art supplies. So let's try to create something. What was it? A character creation. So let's see if I can come up with something fun. So I don't know how tired you are of cats and mushrooms, but I've been drawing it a lot lately, so I thought I would draw something else. I don't see anything wrong in drawing the same thing over and over. I mean, just look at Bob Ross. But I do like to draw different things, so let's draw something that I usually don't draw. So opposite to cat is dog kind of and opposite to a head slash bust format drawing which i do a lot is a full body drawing so a full body dog person i am the worst at anatomy i don't think it is very fun drawing different poses and maybe i don't think it's fun because i'm not very good at it but i won't become better if i don't draw it and practice so practice really is the key here even if it seems tedious sometimes drawing things you don't think is fun but i am pretty sure that when you get better at drawing something it feels much more fun so it really is a whole circle 
So I didn't use the black carbon pencil to sketch with, it was a little too hard to erase for me to feel comfortable with it, so I used a regular mechanical pencil instead because I need to be able to erase. So I did a little sketchy sketch and then I went in with the Posca pens. I decided I wanted to add something to make it a little more interesting, so I turned this doggo into a zombie, or more like a Frankenstein monster kind of thing with different pieces sewn together. I thought it would be a good way to add more variety in the coloring. So the thing with Posca pens, I am not super used to working with them, I am still trying to figure out a good technique, but as I said before, practice makes you better, hopefully. And I am very tempted to just get a bunch of them in all different colors, but they are surprisingly pricey unless you get them in Japan or something, but I had a lot of fun working with them. They are very satisfying to draw with since they are so open and smooth and it also dries with a matte finish which I love. I did experience a little bit of fraying or tearing of the paper since there were some smaller paper crumbs sticking to the pen nib, but not nearly as much as when drawing on regular paper though. And I really like the texture of this paper, or the non-texture rather, it is so smooth. It is apparently a hybrid combined by bleedproof marker paper and bristol board. It is just a really good paper for paint markers like this and since it is special made for this box I don't know if you can get it anywhere else but I am pretty sure a regular smooth bristol board would work just fine too. As I said I am no expert with Posca pens. Anyway I went over the whole piece adding outlines with a fine liner. I used the black pencil too to add some details and shading. I actually think a regular color pencil would have been a little better in this case there is a little bit of shine to the pencil since it is graphite but it still gave a very nice sketchy effect I had a little trouble with the black Posca pen that I used for the pants I found the nib a little scratchy and it didn't apply the paint very even maybe it just needs a little more time to be fully saturated and activated but the other pens were very nice and juicy at least but yeah, I think it turned out very cute. It was fun to draw something different, even if it is an animal, which I draw a lot, but I love drawing animals. But it is not a cat anyway. This one was like a practice piece to get warmed up with art supplies. But yeah, here it is. Let's get to the next one. So this one is a little closer to what I normally do. It looks like a witch, but it is actually a wizard, a wizard frog even, so still not what I usually draw technically. I thought the green and the purple was giving a very clear frog wizard vibe. And I think I also got inspired by my last video where I tested out feather dip pens. It feels like a very wizardy kind of thing, riding with feather pens in thick spell books. But yeah, I really enjoyed this box. It was very relaxing to just play around with the art supplies. It was also nice to be able to redeem myself after that catastrophic attempt to art with a previous scrawler box. And that is just how it is. Some of the boxes you enjoy more than others. It is all about personal preferences. 
99% of the boxes I love, but eventually there will show up an art supply that makes you question your abilities and skills. But that is also an experience and there is always something that you can learn from everything new that you try out. And if you haven't seen the video that I'm talking about, I will have a link to it here somewhere, maybe up in the iCard section. But I like these boxes because it makes me draw things and use art supplies that I normally don't use. I would never have drawn a wizard frog and a zombie dog. I didn't realize that it would rhyme, but I wouldn't have drawn it with Posca pens if I hadn't got the prompt and the art supplies to do so. I was a little concerned that it would be difficult to color these smaller, more detailed pieces with these bulkier paint markers, but it worked way better than I first thought. It is a little tricky to reach into the smaller corners and edges with the thick nibs, but there I actually used a tiny paintbrush to apply the paint with. I just added a little bit of the paint on a scrap piece of paper and then I simply just painted it on like paint. It is paint markers so it worked without any trouble. I think what I found the most tricky with this limited color palette, only using free colors, not including black and white, is that it is hard to place the colors so that they don't blend in or interfere with each other. And I know I could have played around a lot more with layering the colors and adding textures and stuff like that, but I also kind of like the flatter colors. And as much as I love the lineless style with Posca pen, I think the black lines looks really good too. I will try to get a few more colors to play around with as I mentioned before and maybe I can make it a whole video just trying out Posca pen. Then I could experiment a bit more with lineless styles and different techniques. I think that would be a good way to learn how to use them a little better. But I did add stars with a white pen to the cape and the hat to make it a little more magical and also strong to the red clothes with a black pencil to break up the flat colors a little at least. And just like with the previous piece, I outlined it all with a fine liner. I had a lot of fun creating and designing these characters, I hope you like them too. But yeah, here it is, the wizard frog. I really like how these turned out and if you like them too, they will be available as art prints and other things in my Redbubble store and also as coloring pages at my Patreon. All the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and thanks Crawlerbox for this lovely box. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!